In 2018, we visited the offices of startup company Lamb Division as they prepared to launch the company's first investigation to the orbiting laboratory. Their goal? Find novel advancements in retinal implants for those suffering from age-related macular degeneration. Fast forward to 2024, and this growing team is embarking on their ninth investigation launching the station, all sponsored by the ISS National Laboratory. We're back to check with the team as they prep for their investigation, launching on Northrop Grumman's 20th Commercial Resupply Services mission. What did they learn? How has the space station changed their business model? And can space be that growing ecosystem to develop more effective products for consumers on Earth? Lamb Division is developing a protein-based artificial retina to help patients that are blinded by end-stage retinal degenerative diseases. Over the past eight flights, what we've been able to do is really improve the hardware and the technology developments that we've done on orbit. So this particular flight that's coming up on NG20 is going to be looking at a powdered form of the protein, and we're going to be resuspending that powdered form into solution, which will help to improve the scale of manufacturing on orbit. We are taking a scaffold and we're coating that scaffold with protein, multiple layers of that protein. That process on Earth is very much subject to the effects of gravity. In a microgravity environment, you get rid of a lot of those issues, so you get a much more homogeneous solution, better binding of the protein to that scaffold, and ultimately a much more stable artificial retina thin film. One of the great things about working with ISS National Labs is that we have the ability to really test and perform a lot of research and development on the International Space Station. That research and development is critical to Lamb Division's commercialization plans right now and is also really important for other companies that are looking to do research in, in space. So I would say that the ISS National Labs has been a great testbed for research and development and is a great transition as we look towards new private space stations or these commercial LEO destinations. This project is one of more than 20 sponsored by the ISS National Lab flying on this mission. Additional projects include life and physical sciences, multiple technology demonstrations, and education projects. To learn more about all ISS National Lab investigations flying on this mission, please visit our website at issnationallab.org.